everyone and welcome from the BMA. Uh, my name is Natalie Fitzpatrick, Head of Local Recruitment and Retention. Thank you to Truelink who we've partnered with today. Truelink are doing some fantastic work helping international doctors settle and thrive here in the UK. Before we move on to the webinar, I'd like to introduce the BMA. Uh, the BMA is the Trade Union and Professional Association for Doctors in the UK. This talk is very deliberately focused on uh, the fundamentals. Um, so uh, an, an agenda for the for the next um, uh, 20 minutes is uh, set out on, on the slide here. Um, so playing. in terms of um, uh, some specifics, uh, NHS contracts are made of um, uh, made up of up to three things. Fundamentally, you've got a, a nationally negotiated set of terms that I've just been um, describing how we how we do terms and conditions of service documents that are, are very commonly known as TCS documents. Then individual employers, and that means hospital trusts, um, uh, for the most part, uh, it might be one hospital or a group of hospitals, um, they set uh, policies locally that describe how they're going to apply the various terms of those nationally set contracts. Um, and they don't just dream those up in a room on their own, they negotiate them with BMA reps in their individual hospital. That's my role now, supporting um, doctor reps to have those discussions to implement those contracts as advantageously for you as possible, basically. And then you are given an individual employment contract that applies those national terms and applies the um, relevant policies in your employer to you individually. And um, the, the advantage of that linkage is that um, improvements flow through directly. So when we, um, a couple of years ago, secured an additional pay element for trainees who work part time, an extra thousand pounds a year to support the various costs that are that, that, that are not reduced, uh, uh, unlike your salary when you work part time, that automatically cascaded down and applied to all trainee doctors who were eligible for it without any further individual negotiation necessary. So you get to benefit directly from, from national contract improvement work. Um, and I mentioned earlier, trainee uh, terms are particularly um, uh, complex in their rotor rules. So we've also got a, a contract checker tool on our website um, that uh, lets you lets you enter details of the rotor to just confirm it, it, it does meet those meet those various uh, complex rules as well. Um, the other key um, types of contracts and and where, where I'm where I'm going to uh, conclude um, this this piece from me this morning um, is on uh, local contracts. So. I mentioned earlier that the three parts of a contract, the national TCS, the um, uh, employer policies, and then the individual contract um, were up to three. Well, the, the national bit isn't compulsory. So there are um, hospitals uh, increasing at numbers now that do offer terms to people that are not um, officially linked to any of those national terms and conditions of service documents. And so uh, legally, that means the employer could offer pretty much uh, any terms it wants. It could make up its own contract um, uh, and, and say, if you'd like to come and work under these terms, then, um, you know, sign, sign here. 